Hey guys, now it's time. The monster from the Robot vs. Monster live event back back in season 9 in Fortnite. Is he here? No, not yet. <laughs> because we will create the monster. And then we have both of them, the robot and the monster. And many of you asked me to do so, to create the monster as well. And as I told you in the latest video, I will definitely create the monster. Here we go. I use this great video. Thanks a lot, Venix on Twitter, for helping me out, for shooting this reference video. And we will start with the aluminum wire and create the skeleton for this huge monster. When you ask me about the size of this creation, well, I wanted that it fits perfectly to the robot I created last week. But I also wanted to use my Polar Peak. Well, I, I'm still not sure. Maybe we will, we will destroy it, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Let's take some aluminum foil and wrap it around the skeleton. Then we don't need that much of clay. We will still use a lot of clay anyway. But I was so struggling while creating this monster. I felt like a monster. Look at my left hand. I got stung by a bee and my hand was so swollen over several days. Then I had a very small infection in my eye and I lost my voice. Well, this was really great to create. All this clay is quite expensive and this is why. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by myself. <coughs> Oops. Clayclaim.com. This is the place where you get my clay and tools. The clay modeling starter set, for example. Six blocks of clay, my sculpting tool, aluminum wire, and this cool handwritten, hand-painted box. For just a few days, you get 10% off the whole purchase. Clayclaim.com. 10% off with the code TEAMMONSTER. You can get your clay modeling starter set and other basic colors as well. And we are planning to increase all the different colors, which you can get because you ask that a lot how to get all the different and um, not so common colors well we will work on that on a customizer in our online store clayclaim.com where you can just choose all the different colors for your next project for example now that we are coating the monster with clay with brown clay i threw also in some ochre as well and the dark chocolate brown as well we can just coat the whole monster and start getting in a really rough surface detail structure and we will work on all the small details later in my latest video the one with the team leader mecha mecha team leader i asked you why are they fighting what was all the huge battle about Robot versus monster. Nobody told us what they were fighting about and you came up with so hilarious ideas. I want to share some of the comments which you were posting under the latest video. I am 999 road. They are fighting to death because of the monster took the mixed potato chips. Like that one. Great. Joe Baptista road. They stole each other's girls. Oh, this is somehow sad. <laughs> Um, yeah, 360 Edge Road. Mega Team Leader started the fight because the monster didn't give him V-Bucks. Well, this makes sense in a, in a way. Salco, they stole each other's lunch in preschool, so they wanted revenge. Aisha Turn wrote, they were fighting over if Clay Claim should build the robot or the monster. Oh, that's nice. Well, dude, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. His heart cracked because they were once best friends, Robot Flossed. Yeah, this was um, freshly baked muck. This was about the comment that I said, the uh, robot's heart broke because they were once best friends. Now, which tool is the best? The saw or this saw? Saw of death! Would I really do that? Yeah, we, we have to. I, I really feel that I have to adjust all my creations to the current state in the game. And this is what we are doing. <clears throat> Get it into shape. 
take some time, but we will get there. Ah! Well, now it's done. I can't undo that. I, I asked you on Instagram and also Twitter if I should do this or not. Most of you said no. Create a second um, building from Polar Peak, the castle of Polar Peak. But this way is more authentic. Don't laugh your creations too much when you create an even more beautiful creation, like the monster with the Polar Peak right on top. So we are placing it right um, on the back of the monster, adding some more snow, that it really looks quite natural, as if it is the normal, the most normal thing in the world to walk around with a ca uh, with a castle on your back and all the ice crystals as well. I still remember how I created this tiny scenery and I also used um, a white pen to, to get all the snow onto the castle. Now the scalpel with some tiny, tiny details and we can place the whole creation, which wasn't really a stable structure at all, onto the plate. I think we need to put this creation several times into the oven to get it just a little bit more stable. These are all the claws and for the first time we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked, well half part of the monster because we will go on, we will now coat, coat and work on the arms which are the most, well, beside the head, most unique part of this creation of this monster. We take some ochre for this fin on each side of the arms. I'm not really sure what this is. It somehow gives him an, an advantage in fighting against robots, I guess. Some tiny points onto the arm as well. And this already looks quite nice. After oven hardening, we will also add um, a gray pen and get in some shadow, shadows and dirt. And this will make the creation look even more amazing. This is the left hand, which is on the ground. And we will add the fingers and the thumb, of course, and the claws. And the first hand is almost finished. Now the right arm, his right arm, which is movable. You may have noticed that it's um, the same technique I did on the robot as well. So it's um, on a certain point you just use the pliers to cut the wire that it is just movable or it already looks so amazing. Yeah, we need to talk about season 10 while we put this creation into the oven again and while starting the hat. Have you already downloaded the latest update? Have you already played season 10? I know that some of you are really disappointed because nothing really has happened. Well, beside this meteor floating, we should create that. <laughs> Let me know if I'm serious, if you want me to create any new this new location from season 10 or any new skins write it down in the comments as always i will read them all i will also show it in the next videos if i create the skin these are the fins on the side of the head you're creating with a scalpel of course <laughs> and right in the middle this is the place where the huge eye will go it looks really unique, I think. We have this dark brown outline. This is how I created it. And for the iris, we need to mix some clay and we roll it like this, we cut it and we get a really nice yellow outline. The black thing right in the middle into the iris. And we make some huge progress on the head. Well, why did I use the aluminum foil inside? Um, I wanted to get this whole head really lightweight while adding the first teeth and with the aluminum wire you get um, a good help. You can remove it after oven hardening, use that for many many other creations which um, need to be empty um, from the inside. These are some further skins, skins, fins skin fins. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> now some more tooth. 
teeth already looks so great and threatening and we are ready to put this head into <clears throat> the oven freshly baked monster and freshly baked head now we can remove the aluminum foil it's a mess somehow but the structure inside on the clay there is some kind of an imprint and i love that what the aluminum foil does to the clay we can stick it onto the little piece of aluminum wire and the the mouth is moving like jiggling <laughs> it looks nice we will use the super glue to get the claws onto the feet and this is the pen i was talking about we try to get in some shadows well you can leave it just like that but I just like it if you get some more contrast into the creation and some dark shadows as well. I use just my finger to um, get the color all over the surface. We need some red. This is a red pen also for the teeth because, well, the teeth are half white, half red. And I just do this with a pen, which works nice and works fine and well I'm already so curious what it looks like when it's finished but for now we need some transparent polish for the eye to get this shiny effect also on the teeth looks like slime coming dripping out of his mouth also some red on the arms oh this is so exciting we're almost done Maybe just a few more lines on the back for the very, very great details. Maybe some more transparent polish for all the claws on this creation. And we're adding the head. Guys, I guess that's it, the monster. Season 10 is out. Let me know which skin, which map location I should create next. Meanwhile, I will play with the monster, but also the robot of course and i have still some plans with both of them so stay tuned for one of the next videos i guess that's it for today have a great weekend and take care guys bye bye